in this video we are given this nice factorial equation and we want to solve it let's start our solution the left hand side of the given equation is n plus 5 factorial which can be written as n plus 5 times n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1 and I will stop here at n plus 1 factorial because n plus 1 factorial is also in the denominator okay and the right hand side I'm not doing anything I'm just rewriting it as it is 3 0 2 4 so far so good now we can cancel out these two guys so on the left hand side we will have n plus 5 and i want to pair n plus 5 with n plus 2 and then i can write the rest of the two factorials uh, rest of the two factors not factorials these factors as it is right so the given equation is now equivalent to this simplified equation and we have to solve this equation now okay let's multiply these two factors n times n is n square plus 5 times n is 5n plus uh, 2 uh, sorry uh, plus n times 2 is 2n plus 5 times 2 is 10 similarly let's multiply here n times n is n square plus 4n plus 3n plus 12 equal to 3 0 to 4 right now we have n square plus 5 plus 2 is 7n plus we have 10 here which can be written as 11 minus 1 i'm writing this 10 as 11 minus 1 and similarly here i have n square plus 7n plus can you guess how can i write 12 12 as 11 plus 1 and the right hand side is 3 0 2 4 okay now if you look at here we have this guy common let me use this substitution y equal to n square plus 7n plus 11 then i will have y minus 1 times y plus 1 equal to 3 0 2 4 fine now if you look at here we have a minus b times a plus b this formula that says a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square we have a as y and b as 1 so we will have a square which is y square minus b square b is 1 so 1 square is just 1 therefore we have this guy by using this formula here i can move this one to the other side so we will have y square equal to 3 0 2 5 if you add one on both sides but we need the value of y therefore we can take square roots on both sides but then we will have two answers y equal to plus minus square root of 3 0 2 5 is 55 but remember y was equal to this guy okay but before that let me write both the answers y equal to uh, 55 and y equal to negative 55 negative one here and positive one here and what was y n square plus 7 n plus 1 so it means that we have n square plus 7 n plus 11 equal to 55 n square plus 7n plus 11 equal to negative 55 right and we have to solve these equations let's move this guy to the left hand side then it will become negative and we will have n square plus 7n 11 minus 55 will give us 44 minus 44 equal to 0 and let's factor this uh, let's solve this equation quadratic equation and we can factor a, this equation so you have to multiply two numbers whose product is negative 49 4 and sum is 7 the numbers are 11 and 4 11 times 4 is 44 
and since 7 is positive so 11 will be positive and 4 will be negative since the product is 0 therefore you get n equal to negative 11 and positive 4 these are the two answers but <coughs> Okay, n cannot be negative 11 because factorials, uh, you cannot find factorial of a negative number. Therefore, you will get n equal to 4 only solution here. And if you look at this equation, then you will have n square plus 7n plus, uh, if you move this guy to the left hand side, then you will have uh, 66 equal to 0. Let's find the discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac b is 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 66 this guy is huge compared to this one so this is negative therefore we have no real roots here and we cannot uh, we have we cannot define factorial of complex numbers so this guy is the only solution of this given equation